Hello everyone, it is Keza. Today we are seeing the beginning of Halloween uh, 2017. Uh, this is just going to cover the Outer World spawns as they are the only thing that's up, the Night of Horrors events. I'm going to make videos of those later as they come up. Um, but right now I'm just going to try to do a very quick overview as to what has been added to all the graveyards and awesome stuff you can do there. You can see me here at the Vesper graveyard using an old build of mine with some imps. Not very effective, but I have a lot of fun with it, especially during Halloween time. Um, you can use tamers to do these graveyard spawns. However, your tames are almost completely there to be tanks. Uh, monsters are taking somewhere between <laughs> one third to one fourth damage from tames. So if you're just running around with two dragons, it's going to take a long time to kill stuff. You are way better off using a Dexer with pretty much any Silver Slayer. You're going to out DPS people with two dragons very quickly. On the flip side of that coin, if you're not using dragons and you happen to come upon the boss in the specific graveyard area, uh, you're going to want to jump back onto your tamer. Uh, for Vesper here, I've found that the boss is um, the Dread Captain. This guy does some really uh, interesting stuff. I didn't see bosses in 2016, so I don't know if he was around then, but this one does a kind of a forward explosion AoE um, that does about 40 damage and summons a mixture of ghosts, pirates, and parrots. So you're going to want to keep those summons down, uh, as he does have 10,000 hit points, you can see there. I don't think you're going to kill him quickly. I don't know what all bosses are out there, and which uh, graveyards they spawn at. Maybe I'll have that in a later video. Um, I've just looked around, and pretty much all the graveyards have additional spawn right now. Uh, this is Cove here. I tried that for a little bit. It's really hit or miss for finding good things to kill and finding graveyards that aren't currently occupied. Uh, I don't know what strategies that other players are going to have for figuring out where to go to f farm which graveyard or if you have a preference, but this event is still just starting so you guys have plenty of time to figure that out. I believe this is going all the way until November 4th this year. Um, so I also went out and tried my drakes. Uh, definitely my strongest build in terms of hit points and tankiness, but not so much in the damage apartments. Uh, about half of the farming I've done so far here has been done with my usual frenzied pack. Uh, just seven os frenzied ostards, um, and then of course the silver weapon gives me pretty good damage output. Um, if you don't have a Dexer Tamer built, I'd actually recommend it. It's pretty good for these events. Obviously, the weakness of a Dexter Tamer is when PKs show up, you just kind of say, well, I'm dead, because that's about what happens every time. And that's what happened to me uh, just yesterday. Um, so be ready for that. I guess it doesn't really matter what build you're using, PKs are going to come around. Um, another funny thing that happened to me just today was uh, Fran snuck up on me. I have this build going where I have my uh, Axer with two archers shooting from above, and when I was recasting my Magic Reflect, Franz just swooped my axe and ran off. I was actually pretty impressed. I had no idea he was there. And just because he was such a good thief, I agreed to buy the axe back from him for 40k, uh, which is about what it's worth on market value. It, it was a silver force axe, nothing special. So be ready for thieves out in the field. Uh, most of them are actually going to be after your holiday coins, ready to swoop them off you right after you get your boss kills. So um, I've been, you know, only having one or two holiday coins on me at a time, and then I run them back to the bank or to a secure box that I have inside a house. Um, definitely a good idea not to keep too many things on you of value with all the PKs and thieves that are going to be around. So get out there and find all kinds of goodies, including the uh, Night of Horrors 2017 statues that uh, you occasionally get to drop directly in your bag when killing certain zombies. But the zombies seem to be pretty rare. I've only gotten two statues so far. Um, but yeah, there's lots of good prizes this year with the 2017 prize room, which you can see here. 
I'm personally going to be investing in some lantern rolls. Uh, hopefully I get one that's a color that matches my uh, lovely imps. That would be nice. But that is all I have for you guys today. Um, I am definitely looking forward to the Night of Horrors events. And for now, I'm just going to get right back to farming H-Coins. So until next time, I'll see you guys later.